Hey guys, welcome back to this video. Today I'm gonna share with you guys what I plan to feed my goats all winter long. When the snow is deep and the weather is cold. Um, most of you guys know that we are new to goats. We've been reading about them for years and years and years and loving on them from afar. But when we moved to our new farm, we were finally able to get goats. And we have six right now. So we have six Nigerian dwarf goats, two mamas, three babies, and a buck. One of our babies is a little weather now. So he spends his time over in the other, over in the buck pen with the buck. But these are our girls. We just have four of them and we are loving them so much. When we bought them, the girl, the moms were still in milk and they've since, we've since weaned them. And we have been on this journey to try and help them gain some weight and we've been pretty successful especially once we weaned the babies we have done a lot better at maintaining their weight they've done a lot better maintaining their weight we're hoping to breed them in a few short months but that is a whole other video how did you get in here troublemaker the door is closed somehow he broke through here come on come on Good boy. Good boy. That's the little weather and he is such a character. I'm obsessed with him. <laughs> He's asking me for treats. <laughs> Please give me treats. Yeah, he's really cute. I love him to death. Okay, so what are we gonna feed our goats this winter? Obviously, we are going to feed our goats a whole lot of hay. So uh, this is the hay that we are feeding our goats now. They, they actually don't eat a ton of it right now because they are out browsing all day long. We have these little hay feeders built into every stall. Oh, there's our kitty. <laughs> there's our kitty. Hello, he's loving this new house for anybody who wants a kitty update. He's loving it here. He has the whole run of this barn. He goes outside. He does whatever he wants. <laughs> This little guy's biting my shirt. <laughs> but he's happy and healthy and he sticks around. There's no dogs in this barn to bother him and scare him. In our old barn, he used to be scared from the dogs, but he loves this barn. Good boy. Yeah, you are such a good boy. Do you need food? Is that what you're looking for? Do you have food? Uh-oh, what's that? There was this huge thing sitting in his food bowl and I was like, what the heck is that? I think Sophie made a treat for the horses and for the goats and she gave one to the cat. She's so nice. Go ahead, eat your food. Let's see if the goat likes it. Do you like it? Boy goats will eat anything. Our girls are the picky ones. Oh, oh he likes it. He's gonna try it. It's got apples in it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, let me get it. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Isn't he the cutest baby though? No, nope. this little guy is four months old. It would not be a day by day video if Laura was not distracted by some beautiful, amazing little animal that came up. Okay, so this is our current setup. In this bucket, I have a good quality goat grain, 17% protein. It's a balanced goat feed. It's a complete goat feed. And over here, I have the minerals that the goats eat. I buy it in this huge bag. And when we first got into goats, it's everything I read said to leave this loose leaf mineral so that the goats can eat it at their will. And that's exactly what we did. All of our stalls where we house our goats at night have this little container with baking soda and with loose mineral so that they can eat it whenever they want. What I've discovered is that they don't like it. They do not like it. Over on this side, we have baking soda. If they overeat when they're out browsing on the property and they get a belly ache, they get bloat, they can eat some of this to help with the bloat. Um, I noticed that they do eat a little bit of this. They never eat the mineral. So what I've been doing is I've been adding the loose mineral to their feed every night before bed so that I know that they're getting it. Another thing I add to their grain is this powder. Some of you guys will recognize it, it's called diatomaceous earth. 
and it's a really good natural wormer. I don't use it all the time because I don't want them to build up a resistance to it. We did have our goats do a fecal test recently and there were zero worm count. So it's been working for us. So I'll do like a month of this putting it in their grain each day and then I'll take a month off and then I'll start again. <laughs> you are so adorable. Do you guys see why I love him so much? Everywhere I go is an adorable animal. This is my little feed room for the goats. So uh, one thing I plan to add this winter is some black oil sunflower seeds. This is obviously good for horses, it's good for goats, it's good for everybody. It's such a great source of fat for them. Would you like a hand there? So uh, this is what it looks like. And I know our goats are going to love them. And I think it's a really great thing to add in the winter because in the winter where we live in Canada, we get a lot of snow. They won't be able to browse at all. All the hay that they will get will be hay that we give to them. Because we plan to breed our does this winter, we want them to be in good health and we want them to be getting everything that they need. So the other thing that we plan to feed to help with the increased dietary needs of a pregnant doe is some alfalfa pellets. <laughs> so this is what they look like. It's just compressed alfalfa hay and it's small. I prefer the pellets over the cubes because this is better for the goat's teeth and the little and the goat's mouths. The goats are so tiny. So I got that stuff. It took me a really long time to source everything that I got here. I knew where I could get the black oil sunflower seeds. Finding the alfalfa pellets is a bit tricky. Finding even a goat grain in our area. None of our stores cater to goats. There's one store about an hour and a half away that I have found that truly caters to goats. At our local feed stores, you can sometimes find an occasional thing, like even clippers for their feet, you can't find them anywhere. I've been having to order a lot of stuff on Amazon, but I've finally been able to source out all the things that I want. We're preparing for winter. So this is all that they're going to get for winter. I'm gonna go get some more containers to store all this stuff in so that the mice don't get into it. You might be asking yourself, Laura, why are you feeding your goats all that crap when all they need is hay? And it's true, all they need is hay. But babies and pregnant does or does in milk, definitely have higher nutritional requirements. And I was able to see buying these goats that were still in milk, I was able to see how not having exactly what they needed, the additional requirements um, definitely contributed to them not gaining weight the way that I wanted them to gain. Our vet said that they were doing well, but I felt like they could use a little bit more weight. Another of the big reasons that I wanted to have uh, a mixture of grain and other supplemental feeds for our goats is because we're going to start milking them. My husband built this little milk stand for us and I found this little stool underneath. Um, and I wanna train them to come up and stand on this milking stand. And so what I've been doing is I've been putting their grain at night in this on this stand, in this little feed pan, attached to our milking stand. We close them in and I'm able to do their feet and I'm training them so that we can milk them when the time comes. Having them trained to grain for the milk stand is something that I definitely wanna be prepared for. I wanna be prepared early. I don't wanna start this when it's milking time. So I want to do it slowly, do it gradually, and train them to, to stand there. So for me, giving our girls grain has been something that we've decided to do. And I don't wanna just give them grain because having too much grain is obviously not good for them. So I wanted to mix in a few other things to make it last a little longer while they're standing in the milking stand so that I can do their feet and so that I can milk them. And those are the things that I came up with. Obviously, we're not gonna uh, just throw a bunch of new things at them. Like with anything animal related, we always go super slow. That is it, that's what we are gonna be feeding our goats. I think that's all. <laughs> They're up to date on their vaccinations. And we wanna be ready for breeding season. And I want them to be the healthiest little goats that they can. It gives me a lot of pleasure to study and figure out the things that they need to be healthy. And like I said, I know that they only need hay. But after doing a lot of research, this is what I've decided to try. I'm gonna keep you guys posted and let you know how it goes. 
Our goats have free range to browse our entire property. They have a lot of acres that they travel every single day to get food. Uh, feeding them is such an important part of getting them ready to breed and in keeping their nutrition up while they're growing new babies. So that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm missing something in my feeding plan or if you think that I'm feeding too many things or if you've found something that we're feeding not to be beneficial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Said that.